We welcome you to the turf facility here on the campus of Central Maine Community College as we get ready to bring you college soccer YSCC action today as the links of NHTI are in to take on your Mustangs. Hello, buddy. I'm Rob Munzing, Andrew Sevenson joining me here today, flying solo, so we're getting set for a double header of action here. Beautiful day for soccer here from Central Maine Community College here on the holiday. Left us a little short-handed today, so with the uh, vacation weekend here, uh, our Rob Kennedy's taking a few days off and uh, traveling, and I'll be along for the call of this one here for you both games today. See the teams right uh, set in front of us. Andrew Sevenson doing our camera work here today as we bring you this game out on all the channels. Wherever you are watching, we welcome you. Introducing starters right now. We're getting the starters announced from the press box area. We'll be underway here shortly. So this is a big game here between two league opponents. The boater just introduced. And we'll get set for action here. Looking for Feisty affair as these two teams typically get after each other in a big way. One let you know as I'm doing the uh, production and the play by play, the clock may lag a little bit. We'll let the pictures tell the story of this one for the most part.
officials on the field. Links will be moving right to left on your streaming device, whether it be your smartphone or tablet. Maybe you're using a Roku device and able to tap into the app that allows you to watch it full screen. That's the way to do it. Go to your streaming device, whether it be an Apple TV, a Roku, any of the uh, family of streaming devices. Go to their app store, download the BoxCast app, search for Munsing Media, and you'll be watching this up on your big screen TV. Here in the holiday, so uh, I think a lot of kids are gone for the weekend. They're not seeing uh, a big fill-in on the hill here behind us, so a lot of kids taking advantage of taking some time off, and uh, it's a good time of year to give the kids a little break here. The long holiday weekend does that, and also for those of our talent, the announcers who a lot of them are school teachers like Rob and they're taking the time off. So we're quickly underway here. Brian with the take. Mustangs look to attack. Bimvi. Our clock a little behind is kind of out of the way. Good chance there for the Mustangs, but now controlled here by the Lynx. Hussainov couldn't clear. Gomez plays it back. Labata. Abdul Adi turns it over. Aiden Phelps. For the Lynx on the throw-in. Trying to connect down there with Garcia. Couldn't do it. Mustangs on the attack. Dropped in on the chase. It was Zuzi, but he couldn't make the play. On the kick. Bashford heads it forward. Lumu. Mustangs on the attack and ball went off the inline. It was Igor Dominguez. So first corner for the Mustangs. They get set. Look to curl it in, in the area. That was headed out by Weinman for the Lynx. Mustangs. Lumu tries to change field, but it was knocked away by Phelps. Links hooked the counter with Cushing. Cushing got it back. Plays it there to Phelps. Dispossessed. Mustangs looking to control, but they can. They got it taken away by Cushing, who drives it down. Nagasasa, the keeper, his first handle. Lumu. Gomez looking to turn. Gomez will play it back as he got cut off. Labora over to back, 
uh, Bashford, but it's played by the keeper back out and Mustangs look to regroup. Labota. That was intercepted by Brawny. And up and over on the tester. Just underway, we're a little bit behind on our clock. If I get some time, I'll try to resync it. Good opportunity here. The shot to save, that was a good one. Aiden Cushing with the left foot. Bashford. Ivan Dominguez, dispossessed. Mustangs will jump on it, they've got to run here. On the take, Bimvi. Bimvi. Can't make the play in a call. Quick take and gonna draw a whistle. Bashford, Alfie, far side. There's a door of Dominguez. We'll have the throw in for the Mustangs. In, Dominguez. Tries to thread one through. Chase down. Husanovic. To the touchline and out. Aiden Phelps on the throw in, gets it deep. Bashford with a little physical play there, and he was able to knock Garcia out of play. We expect a physical game, and that would be the expectation probably from both teams as they headed into play here today. It'll stay in. Bimvi. Gomez now. Zuzi. He's got an angle. Puts it on into the area. Headed off the post, the shot, the goal! On the rebound! Mustangs go up 1-0. Well, that was a good possession there. First shot off the post, second one came right back out, no chance for Newton Delgado in net. So Ivan Dominguez with the goal. We'll take a pause here now. Get everything set on the scoreboard. Good, we're pretty good on the scoreboard, so we're back to play. Blocked in front. Potential good take there by Cushing. And that one will sky. Up over to the infield on the softball field. Speaking of softball, we'll have softball action. The final games of the year coming up from home on this Saturday, the 14th. Got a big week. We'll review the week here as we get into play today. Some big soccer action coming your way. Bashford, control in the zone. Gonna make the play offensively. Dominguez, Susie, 
Threads it through. Then he goes. Couldn't get it back to him, but now he's there. He came rushing forward. We got a collision, and Newton Delgado is involved in that, the keeper. They'll scrape everybody up off the pile and play on. Beautiful day for soccer. A little bit of a breeze. Going to be cooler as the day goes on, I believe. So, but coach says that's a free kick or a corner, and I'm going to believe him. Been only one corner in the game. It was the Mustangs. Skyed and. Lumu, who towers there at the center of the field, made the play. Abdullahi gets it up. Doozy ahead. Connects smartly with Bemvi. Bemvi, he's fast. Bemvi goes all the way over. I mean, he's there. Drives it. It's tipped. And good diving save, Newton Delgado. That was a deflection and a dangerous <laughs> shot on net for the Mustangs. They lead it 1-0. 35-35 left. Hey, 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 Lumu almost thudded through. Little bump there by Benvy. He controls. He'll get it in behind, and the pressure has been Mustangs. Couple of good opportunities in the last couple of minutes for the Mustangs. Goal kick coming. That one doesn't uh, get through. Newsy now played back. Phelps popped it in the air. Newsy. Couldn't make it through. Brian for the Lynx. Cemento got it forward, but no possession for the Lynx and a little, a little pushy push. And uh, we were privy uh, pre to a pre-game conference with the officials as they were talking, like they always do. And part of the talk was, uh, let's make sure that uh, we control the physical play. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanking the uh, the guys from the links that are checking in, not to stand in front of the camera because they're not their fault. They they're going to their normal check-in area. They usually don't have a camera standing right there, so. Used to be the first subs in of the game. Corner, let's go! Hoffman will check in, and number 13, who I don't have on my roster. So I'm going to look quickly here. Oh, you don't have a 13 either? From the, is that legal? How about down here? Any 13s down here, kid? That's our team. Oh. So we're not sure who that is. It's not on the roster. Michael Martino, if you're watching, tell us who number 13 is for NHTI. A playback keeper. Almost intercepted, now a chance. Ronnie, stolen away. Mustangs control, looking to get deep. They do. And Susie's got a shot. Tried to play it over. Did. Mukala. Bimby. And that goes up and over. Hey, 
Bellows will come in, number 30. And who what? Who was number 13 that went in? Coach? Yeah, Christian Abuda. Christian Abuda is number 13. Thank you, Coach. So Abuda's in the game, number 13. One nil Mustangs. Cloud cover coming in. Feels a little bit like fall today as we're on the holiday. As they used to teach me in school, Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. But a better historical perf preference here today in did Indigenous Peoples Day is the holiday. No classes today, so it's a good day to play. Zuzi. Yeah, Michael Martin was all over it, Kristen Abuda. Get those rosters squared away online, will you there? Uh, <laughs> Goes in deep. Mustangs. Get a kick. Plays it out. Bashford. Alfie. Mustangs look and change feel they do. And Zuzi gonna get the play. David's got great wheels as you saw right there. Plays it ahead to himself. Couldn't get the angle. Weinman did a good job of cutting him off. Number 17 for the Lynx. Abdullahi in. Gomez. Good aggressive play. Delgallo and net changes field all the way back down. Goes to Bashford. Alfie surveys. Connect, but a loss. Garcia. Hoffman. Now for the Lynx, we'll play it back. Safe ball back, they'll try to regroup. They got a good, th good ball through. Lynx with a chance right through the goal area and Garcia was on the fly to make a play, but he couldn't do it. Garcia Sassensis, the full name I see. Ivan Dominguez with the goal. That's where we stand, 1-0. 27-58, want to let you know our clock, unofficial here is, we're about 10 seconds off on the clock. If I get a time, I'll do it. I'm flying a solo flight here as production play-by-play -play today. Gomez with a nice play. Got it ahead. Benvy, Benvy's loose, Benvy's in. Defended the beat, threads it through, and a good opportunity by the boards for the Mustangs. Rob Munzing, Andrew Sevenson here today. Second corner of the game. Who's gets it in? The flex. Still in the area. The shot. Oh, wide. A good one. Dominguez would have shot, but he sealed it wide. 
Ladies game to fall. We think about 5.30 will be game time for the ladies. But be a little chilly then, don't you think, Gam? Huh? A little chilly at 5.30. Yeah, be doing the job here, keeping the stats in the book. Driven out. Bashford with his tall frame will play it back. Abdul Hari down the touch line and Susie comes back quickly. Ahead, flags up, offsides. Would have been a great opportunity as Igor was, Igor Dominguez was on the fly. He'd have walked in alone. Oh, what a beautiful move there. Zuzi lost it, but he had a beautiful move. He still contends for it, and we get a little tit for tat. And David getting a little coaching. Coach McCormick saying, don't take it into the pressure. You're quick enough to get away from it. Go to the outside. Good ball. Settled down by Bellows. And that'll be throwing. Cushing. Launches deep. Connects slickly with his man in underneath there. It was Garcia. Susie having a great game here. Here he comes again. He's got running space on the right side there. Fancy footwork now. Waits for the troops. Changes field. Igor Dominguez over there. He'll spin. Maneuver. Gets it back for a long shot that'll go up and over. Igor doing a terrific job. As we like to say, he put him in one of those old-fashioned telephone booths, you'd still have a hard time getting the ball away from him. Crowd starting to filter in here at the complex. All the college students finally waking up at 327. <laughs> I remember those days about 50 years ago. On the touchline, now out. Let's see. Links. Let's see who it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be Mustang Ball. Mukawa comes in. Gomez, but he didn't get a chance for it. Intercepted. Cushing. Bashford comes up on the attack. Who ought? And now they'll play it ahead. Bashford was down, so Alfie draws the whistle. Clock stop, 23.02, so let's see if we can. Give me a chance to fix the clock, official. Bashford stays down. So let you know, a big week coming up as we'll have the rival games later this week, Wednesday and Thursday, against Southern Maine. Southern Maine will be up for the women's game. These are 4 o'clock starts on Wednesday and 4 o'clock start on Thursday. Going to be big games. Of course, neither... The men who are playing now, the women who are playing the Lynx later on here, want to think about those games. 
So Justin Violet, number 11, will go in the game as Alfie Bashford will come out, get some attention. This is going to take a look at him. And we're back to play. The shot bounces wide. I guess I said what a good read there. Knew it was going wide. Results in a corner, second one. For the Lynx. <laughs> Who on with it? He'll get into this left footed. Tries to curl a ball into the air. He does. Good ball and cleared out quickly by Gomez and now back in and contended for and we're going to get Violet for something, so we're going to get a direct right there. Brian will set it up. We'll see who they have take it. Fisher will come over and set the yardage off. March of troops back. Brian set to get into it. It's going to sail it wide. Hook that one a little bit too much. Hey, 21-16 left here in the first half. Rob Munzing along for the call of this one. No replays today. I'm flying solo, so... No chance to do a full out production here, but it was important for us to make sure these games got out and had play by play on them and all of that. So we're using a secondary device that we sometimes use for these types of situations when we're a little short handed. We have some illness in the Munzing Media family and we need to take care of family first. So the boss always works. <laughs> it's skied up. Bellows ahead. He's got it here, dispossessed. Bimby couldn't get through. Now he does. Makes the play. Bimby controls. Left foot ahead. Dominguez there. Trying to beat his defender, couldn't do it. It was Igor. And that goes out. So Mustangs had the early advantage. The Lynx have turned the field here in the last five minutes or so. Had some opportunities. A good direct kick. That sealed wide. That was with Brian. So the Lynx sometimes this happens. Takes a little while to get rid of those bus legs, we call them in the coaching business. And they look like they've got a little more pep here. They'll play it through. Luma won the chase down there. And... Just enough to shield off the offensive threat, but links again. Who on? He gets knocked down. Ivan Dominguez lost it. Little give and go, and didn't connect was a good opportunity for the Lynx. Physical tussle across the way. Violet threads one through, connects there with Bimby. Lynx got back and clogged things up. There's a steal. Gomez ahead on the take. Bimby and did a little blocking for himself there. Knocked the defender down. Rodriguez about to check in. Rodrigo Rodriguez, number 22 for the Lynx.
skied high. Nice job, Gomez, getting the head on it. Lynx look to attack. Ball deflected, chased down quickly. Lynx get it back. Foul called. Try to scale one into the area here. Will the Lynx? Who are with it? Remember, we saw him earlier with the corner. He's left footed, drills it in. Came directly on the keeper, and Agasasa with the save. Lynx playing much better in the last 10 minutes. More chances, more opportunities, more offensive zone time. Violet let it go by. Playing much better at midfield. Luzinovic lays it off far side. Mustangs get a little tug there. Yeah, they found it. They waited on the whistle. See if there was advantage, disadvantage. Mustangs ball. 16-20. I see our clock got stopped somehow, so I'm going to have to reset that. So. Good battle there. Bimby plays it back. And that's what give me, ooh, nice, tra nice trap there. I thought the ball was gonna go out. I was gonna take a chance to fix the clock. I will now. Do it a little closer. Stay with him, George. Stay with him. Dominguez. Igor. In front. Into a mass of humanity. Violet. Plays it back to Vimby. Back to Violet. Violet trying to get loose. He gets it through. And they want a handball. They didn't get the call. Would have been a penalty kick. Bemby, he's in. Bemby shoots. Oh, just wide. Had a great opportunity. Here come the subs. We apologize. Sometimes the subs come in and where we're right down here on the field, they kids can't be blamed for subbing in. They're right in front of the tent here, but they sometimes get standing in front of our camera, and I know we get blocked out sometimes. We apologize for that, nothing we can do. Our current vantage point is right down on the field. We're about 10 seconds off behind on the clock. Official time is 14.08. I'm going to stop the clock here. Give us a chance to sync it up. It's going to be at 13.36. And now we're back at it. Outside. 
Mustangs look to work it far side. Bellows drew a foul. Sam Boynton, number four in the game now here for the Mustangs. Bashford's behind us getting some treatment and also uh, Zuzi also getting some attention. Samatento, no, right on. The Ivan Dominguez goal is held up. Boynton ahead. Bimvi also, but Newton Doe. Gatto came out, made the play. You'll Shot kick. Violet called on a push. They'll set it quickly, trying to connect down here with Huard and ball will go well out. Be the third corner of the game here for the Lynx. Here it comes in the area. Dangerous spot. Oh, just turned over and they'll redo. Cemento had a good opportunity there. The, off his left foot, we'll redo the corner again. Corner number four. Hard into the area. Mustangs clear the area, now out. Rodriguez made the defensive play. It was a clap from the bench area here. Right to my right. Trying to get Boynton, Sam Boynton. Ball comes down, headed away by Phelps. Boynton's got it here though, Boynton. A little miscommunication, but they figured out. Benvy rounds the corner, Benvy looking to center, he does. Boynton's got another chance, Sam Boynton. Plays it through, Boynton. Kind of skidded it. Had the right idea, went left foot, wanted to curl it back near side, just couldn't get anything on it. Tussle here, we'll play on. Who on? Bashford set the check back in. Terrell Nong also Set to check in here for the Mustangs. Number 14, be Tarot's first appearance of the game. Alfie, of course, came out injured, but he's set to go back in. 9-19, official time. Yes, Steph will. Steph will. Abdul got it, but it was uh, possessed by Bellows. Bellows hit the post. Good take by Bellows. Better play by the Lynx here, particularly the second half of this first half. I would say they probably have had the better of the opportunities here. That one just off the post by Bellows. 8.30, first half. Glad you could join us here on the holiday for college soccer. Rob Munson here with the call for this one. 
Andrew Sevenson, an intern from Central Maine Community College, running our camera. Turned here. Played up and Violet had a chance at it, but not able to make the play and the Lynx have had good offensive zone time here. Will Bellows on the left side and be throw in here by Phelps for the Lynx. Launches. Missed on the head of Bashford, who's back in, as we said, on the play. Went up the end line and check in coming here. Cushing coming back in the game. Aiden Cushing. 7 10. Ivan Dominguez with the early goal. It stood up. It has stood the test of time, but the Lynx have had some opportunities. The Bellow post shot, the best one. Bellows again. He's getting some good opportunities here as he hustles. Mustangs penned in their own end as the Lynx have been on the offensive. And that's drilled out. We'll get a sub coming in the game. Weenman back in the game, number 17. Cemento will check out. Ivan Dominguez ahead. The Mustangs can't clear. Turn back. The shot deflected through. A couple of links there and tremendous hustle play here and up the touch line. Well done. Boynton. Sam ahead. Collision right down in front of us. We'll play. Now foul called. Come on, turn it face. Watch your middle. Watch your middle. He's got middle two. Played back. Now it comes right up here on the near side to Gomez. Gomez right down the touch line. Wants to change field, drills one far and deep. A beautiful change of field there. And this may give the opportunity to the Mustangs. Ivan Dominguez is going to launch one up and over. But the change of field certainly paid off. Gomez is going to come over, take the corner. Third corner of the game here for the Mustangs. They lead it 1-0, 440, moving clock. Jeremiah Gomez. Into the area. Head on it. Boynt will chase it down here and try to turn it back, but he's not going to win the race. Who ought? That's knocked out. All right, hey, George. Throw in. Abdullahi gets it back. Up the right side now. Justin Violet. Sam Boynton. Boynton had it go off him and out of bounds. White throw. Violet. Illegal throw in, so it's going to go over here to the Lynx. Aiden Phelps waits for things to settle. You see him right in the corner of your picture. Subs in. Phelps ready. Phelps launches. Battle there. Violet. Plays it back. 
Mingus wants to thread one through. He does. Little touch there to Violet. Violet trying to weave through traffic. It's loose now. Nong got it far side. Kalala. Good hustle play. Gets it deep down the line. Far side. Played back. Trying to connect with Boynton. Sam. And a good aggressive play coming across hard was Phelps and knocked it out. Two minutes, 28 seconds left here. Our clock is pretty close. They'll change up the line up here. Abdullahi will come over for the throw in. Nong. Gomez. Doesn't get a lot of depth on that one, and the Mustangs will control in offsides. Phelps with the kick. Threw it across dangerously, but. Links with a couple of passes, get the clear out. Cushing plays it back. Driven down, far side. Race is on. Bashford. Alfie. Left foot one's out. The thread to pass didn't go. And now the Mustangs on the attack. Here they come. Cushing. Kalala. For the Mustangs and now played back deep to Weenman and come up for the goal kick here. Bellows ahead. Trap there, Gomez, Dominguez. Good ball there, but links of control. Chipped ahead by Phelps, controlled by the Mustangs, however. Gomez will play back to Bashford, Bashford. Dominguez came back to make the play in the ball. Now through, headed out, settled. Mustangs can't get through traffic as Ivan gets shut off and that's gonna roll it through for the first half of play. So the early goal stands up by Ivan Dominguez. And that's all we have to show on the board for the score. Pretty even first half here from the turf complex at Central Maine Community College. So we're gonna take a break, take a look at some of the great uh, programs here. On campus, students of course are all, luckily off today. They like that a lot, I think, and uh, we will uh, be back with you here. Break down the first half, we're gonna, looks like we're gonna have, I wanted to see, let you know, it looks like we're gonna play 11, 11 minutes between uh, between half, so we'll be back for second half action after this. The USCAA provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to peak. It's leveling the playing field for everybody.
opportunity. Uh, you know, just a fellowship amongst athletes, you know, get a chance to play against some different teams that typically don't get a chance to play against from different regions, different parts of the country. This kind of gives you an opportunity to kind of see where you're really at against everybody. Good. Like I said, just a great environment, uh, well-ran tournament. Uh, it, it's just, it's a pleasure to be part of uh, organizations like the USCA. The Hutchinson Family Sports Foundation is proud to support Munson Media's production of live streaming high school sports. We recognize the hard work and dedication of Maine's high school student athletes, and we applaud Munson Media's pioneering live streaming efforts. The Hutchinson Family Sports Foundation. And it changes the game 35 26. This has been a wacko affair. through these doors, I was just blown away. This is insane. It just caught my attention immediately. This is the first place that I've seen like this decked out. It's pretty sweet. This is a grand opening for our eSports arena. We're talking 1,600 square feet of pure technology. Like, I'm shaking being here. It's so cool. There's nothing like it in Maine. We're ahead of the curve here. It's definitely a big market, something you can make a living on. I've always had an interest in eSports. We're treating it like an extension of our athletic program. And then in addition to that, we're starting an eSports management degree program. It's just a different community for me to be a part of. It really just helps me just be myself. It's just really fun. This will bring students together. That's what's happening, and that's what eSports <laughs> is. To me, it's beautiful, and I want to live here. Helping people is kind of ingrained into me. I am so glad that I chose to be here. It's a really great program. The, primary in the, heart. the instructors are super helpful. They really do set you up to be successful in the field. The new hospital simulation lab here at CMCC is a great addition. It's as close to replicating real life as you can get. We did an IV lab. With a mannequin, it's nice to get your toes wet before you jump into a clinical setting. CMCC is the best place to start nursing. It's challenging, but you are learning. You have a smaller size classroom, smaller ratio to instructors. It's affordable. It really provided me relief that I'm not going to accrue a lot of debt. I needed to set myself and my family up for success after. I'm going to come out of this able to actually practice as an RN in the real field. It's a wonderful opportunity. Coaches know you can't win a game without proper planning and execution. Let Gosline Retirement Planning coach you into a confident retirement. Here at Gosline Retirement, we provide that proper planning and help you utilize a step-by-step -step approach on all facets of your retirement planning. We provide guidance on income planning, wealth management, understanding taxation, Medicare and long-term care, and legacy and estate planning. We pride ourselves on working hard for those who have worked hard their entire lives. 
So, schedule your appointment today and let the team at Gosline Retirement Planning put together a retirement game plan for you. You can't win a game without proper planning and execution. Let Gosline Retirement Planning coach you into a confident retirement. Here at Gosline Retirement, we provide that proper planning and help you utilize a step-by-step -step approach on all facets of your retirement planning. We provide guidance on income planning, wealth management, understanding taxation, Medicare and long-term care, and legacy and estate planning. We pride ourselves on working hard for those who have worked hard their entire lives. So, schedule your appointment today and let the team at Gosline Retirement Planning put together a retirement game plan for you. The USCAA provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to peak. It's leveling the playing field for everybody. Kind of flipped the switch here today with the women's game being the second game. I'm here with Coach Rob Rodriguez of the women's team. And normally you play first, Coach, playing second. Doesn't matter. you got to play anyway. Right. It's a little different for us. Um, we have to time our pregame a little bit differently now because we don't have, you know, we tend to use a good hour and a half or more for pregame. So right. we, yeah. we won't have that. So we've got to time things a little bit different and adjust things differently. But, um you know, th this team is pretty good at adapting to whatever we throw at them. So, well, you adapted um, to some conditions up over the weekend, didn't you, Coach? When you went into upstate New York and played in the monsoon. Yeah, we Tell did. Tell us a bit about that one. That's a big win. Yeah, and, and you know, we were obviously you're happy with the results. We weren't happy about giving away a, you know, almost giving away a three goal lead because um, we were up pretty good on them and we let them back in the game and in, in the second half, and and we have to be better. Um, you know, to, to really finish the year off the way we want, we have to be better than that. And that'll be part of the pregame discussion today um, because we, we looked good. Um, you know, both teams struggled in the conditions, and, and I give both teams a lot of credit. They um, played really, really hard in, in probably the worst conditions I've ever seen um, in a game. And both teams, it, it didn't seem to phase them at all. Um, but, yeah, yeah, I mean, Credit goes our, our girls. I mean, the, their fitness level carried them right through. They were still pretty fresh by the end of the game, so I was proud of that. And that's been one of the things you've been building on all season is the conditioning of your kids. It starts in the off season and continues into preseason. And, you know, you've been playing some kids and wearing other teams down, and that's part of the strategy that uh, that you like as a coach to be able to do because there's, there's an inner toughness if, if you're in shape and you know, you know that time in the game and the kids recognize it in the game where everybody's fatigued. I used to have a saying back in my coaching days and you, you may use the same thing and I would say, listen, fatigue makes cowards out of everybody. Yeah. So fight through that time. Know that that's the time that we take our condition and push it to the next level. Yeah, no, for sure. And, and our starting 11 can all go 90 minutes with no problem. 
Um, and that's been a big advantage to, uh, for us, and it's also reduced injuries. So um, their fitness level has really kept a lot of players out of the training room, and that's been that's been a plus for us, keeping them on the field this year. Let's take a look at the week here. It's going to be an exciting week. This all of a sudden turned into a bigger game than you were anticipating a week or so ago with the uh, with the change in the way that the game is going to be uh, considered for conference play. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it's yeah, it, it turned into more of a critical game than, than we expected, but we're, we're all for it. I mean, we, we tied the first time this year and we really wanted to get that one back if we could. And, and so we're looking forward to it. And then we got Wednesday's game against SM. That's always a, a, a good matchup. And, and um, yeah, the games, the games matter now. And, and the team knows that they, they, they're under a little bit of pressure. They know that. Um, and, and they've been responding well to that stuff. Um, and that's, that's the time of year it is, right? Yeah, coach, it is. you, you it know, is. you, you want to be in a position where the pressure games matter. Right. And, and right. that's right where you are. You, you put yourself in that position by winning on early in the season and, and, you know, sometimes kids don't recognize the fact that an early season game can can really set you up for uh, end of final third of the season in competitive games that really mean something. And that preps you for playoffs. Yeah, and, and that's why, you know, and, and we've been pounding the message into them. That's why we played all those difficult teams at the beginning of the season. It's it's for it's to prep us for now. And we're playing some of the best soccer we've we've played. Um, at the most important time of the year. So, you know, we'll suffer those early losses that don't show up too much in the standings, and we'll take that as long as we're learning from it, and, and we have. And I think we're, we're playing pretty good soccer right now, and, and uh, we just got to make sure we stay we stay on, on that path and, and don't give any games away. So, um, yeah. I mean. and, and one of the great uh, advantages here, you put yourself in a potential position not to have to play the play-in game. Right. And then... You would essentially be here, uh, although you may not even be the home team, depending on seedings and things of that sort, but playing on the familiar turf here right. uh, at the complex. Yeah, and we're trying to avoid the playing game by finishing first or second if we can because we, we have a game on the schedule for that play-in weekend that we really want to keep. It's another trip to New York, but it's a team we really want to play. Um, never played them before, and we want to keep that one on the schedule if we can. So, um, yeah, so we're, uh, our goal has been to avoid the play-in game, and... Um, but it's it's our our conference is extremely competitive and, yeah. and it, it doesn't matter what the matchups are in the final four they're all going to be really really good games because the teams are good they're they're all good yeah and particularly the upper echelon teams right. and, and right. you know the other thing I'm seeing coach because of course I'm on I'm on the other side of it when I'm doing UMA games and things of that sort there's enough teams in in the women's bracket that are competitive there yeah. as well yeah. so yes. they're they're getting teams like uh, uh vsu uh, randolph came down to to right. play uma over the weekend we ended up playing that at, right down the street from my house at gardner because they had a tour field and uh, you know the the uma kids were able to get a win out of that but the the, the uh i still want to call them vermont tech but the uh you know the vsu kids uh, they had a competitive game and even though they end up playing nine or nine for right. that game, right? Yeah, and, and UMA, it, I give them. You know, next year they're going to be better, and, and the year after that they're going to be competing for these same spots that everybody else is. I have I have no doubt about that. Just watching how they play and and how they're coached, um, they're going to be they're going to be one of these one of these better teams um, um, in in another year or two. So. Uh, some comments on the first half of the men's game. <sighs> it's always fun to watch <laughs> CM and NHTI and and. Um, yeah, I mean it's a good close game, and and uh, yeah, I mean it's it. I, I just love watching our men's team play. We we enjoy the skill level and and just the fast pace of it, and and you know we we try to watch them as much as possible, and we learn from them too. So. Well, it looks yeah. like uh, NHTI took a little bit of time to get rid of what I call the bus legs. When you have a long trip, sometimes yeah. you, you show up in that first half of the first half. takes a little bit of time to get your legs up and yes. going and all that. And yeah. uh, we really had them on the defensive there with yeah. a couple of more chances. We got the one goal uh, by Ivan early on. but uh, And then I thought they turned the script. I thought they had the better of the opportunities in the second half of the second half. Yeah, they the did. The second half of the first half. Yeah, this is going to be yeah. a fun second half Yeah, it should watch. be. Yeah, so, so you know, stay right with us here we're going to get set to that and uh, they're resetting the clock give me a chance to do it uh, Andrew's going to swing the camera back around so if you get dizzy close your eyes he's going to do that and then when you come back up we'll be showing the field thanks coach thank you good luck today thanks
So set to get underway here in the second half. Gabby's back in her spot doing the stats today, doing a great job. Doing stats for both teams. Earning a bonus. <laughs> and we're underway. Mustangs, if you're just joining us in the white home shirts, they're moving right to left on your screen. Deflected. Bashford went out early, back in start in the second half, and looks like starters are back in. That connects up ahead. This is Leary. Leary. Mustangs looking to clear it out, but Bimby not able to do that. Glad you could join us here, wherever you're watching on Facebook, YouTube. Comes the kick. Tried to make the pass through the corner, not able to do it. Far side, Mustangs control. They'll play it back, try to set it out of the zone. So we'll get everything set here for the second half. Get all my housekeeping done here, get the clock set and go, and get back to calling the game. As Coach Rodriguez said, expecting a very competitive game here in the second half. One goal game. Ivan Dominguez's goal held up throughout the first half. Corners were fairly even for for the Lynx. Three corners for the Mustangs. Throw in. Trying to get Ivan Dominguez. He flies down that far side. Physical play, but nothing bordering on a card, no cards called. Very few infractions, as a matter of fact, called. So, Bashford steps up. A collision, but Bremby picks it up. He's got it ahead to Igor. He goes in. He's going to shoot all this stuff. Flacky, an excellent opportunity. Go to Mengus. Golden opportunity. Aiden Cushing, what a nice play for the Lynx. Mustangs can't thread it through. Gomez, through ball, offsides. Guide. Bashford, tallest player on the field, gets to head it twice. He's able to get that thing up in the cumulus clouds before it comes down. As the door, Dominguez came in, cleared it away. Through and out. Comes a goal kick. Played to Bashford. Alfie left foot one's down. 
Igor on the touchline. Little give and go. Slick move there by Benvy. Benvy looking to get the edge. But he gets played off by Cushing. What a good play defensively. Clouds have rolled in, a little breeze. Feels like fall. Apple picking time in Maine, folks, if you're watching from away. This is traditional weekend that lots of families go to the orchards and pick a bushel of apples and make all the apple treats, the apple tots, the apple pies. Usanovic will drill it out up to midfield. Gomez got knocked down and official says relax. I'll make the call. I think we got it. <laughs> Officials have been in control. We're still talking, but talking to each of the players here. Sometimes a little preventive officiating is a good thing. Of course, it runs, runs time off the clock. I just heard Coach over there say a therapy session. Yeah, I like that, too. That's a good one, therapy session. Susie, out, throwing. David gets it in. Andrew Sevenson on our camera, as he has been for most of the fall. Asma Stevens is filling in when she can to around her soccer schedule. Did hockey yesterday. What a crowd we had for hockey. Wow. Place was packed yesterday. What an atmosphere. We'll have more hockey next week and two Sunday. Check the schedule. I think it's like a 3.30 start or something like that. But check the schedule for hockey next week. Alfie, a huge advantage again. Alfie Bashford just able to get that ball at its highest point as other defenders are there trying to get the head on it, but uh, Alfie's up above him. That's going to be dangerous here. Good read. Nagasaki came out and made a good play there as almost a giveaway push. They'll play. Good press by the Lynx. Drilled wide. That was a good opportunity there. Cemento. Good hard low shot. Bashford into one. Good strong ball. Knocked and settled down. Weenman through. This is Brawny. Leary with the corner. Fifth one of the game. Drilled in into the area. Headed out by the Mustangs. Stays alive. Good shield there by the Mustangs. You can't get it out or pop in the air. Easily controlled and Links with some really good pressure, looking for the equalizer. We get a timber, but we play on. Lusanovic. Play 
played in. Barney tried to keep it in at the line. He did. And so good area for a direct. The shot from good range up and over. Lucinovic had it lined up. Good entry, clear shot, drilled it up and over. This is a good contest here today. Played back, players down right in front of us. Benvy went down but bounced right back up. Zadora, Dominguez through Bimby. I'm sorry, Gomez, Gomez. Looks to throw it in the air, he does. Knock back out. Mustangs look to keep the play in. Links on the attack, Bashford came back. Good attack. Labota came over. Knocked it out. Quick entry. Cushing. Those that in front. Links up the far side. A little slip there. Hoffman. Came up from the defender spot, played it back up. Now an opportunity, no Mustangs can't control. Comes to Cushing, Cushing got it back. Hoffman. Will Bellows in the game here for the Lynx. Had some good opportunities in the first at Bellows. Cushing, Bashford now. For the Mustangs. Controlled. Good hustle play by Cushing. Battle there, played back. Whistle. Thirty two minutes on the clock. The one goal holding up. Alfie Bashford set to get into it. Bashford does. Guys, could you stay down in front of the camera? Guys, could you stay down in front of the camera, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. Good kids, these links there. Quick turn there. That was Bimby. Ahead. Take here. Ivan. No. Ivan Dominguez with the goal. Almost had an opportunity a second ago. Play at midfield. Trying to thread it through. Agasaza came out, made the aggressive keeper play. Play back to Bashford. Bashford not able to connect. Link's doing a good job at midfield, throttling the attack of the Mustangs, but here they come on the take is Gomez. Gomez. Overran the ball a little bit, gets back for it, and gets knocked down. I think we're going to get a stoppage. Getting a card.
We'll get an idea. They'll come over and report that, won't they, Gabby? He'll come over and report who that. Did you see who the card winner? Went on 32. So the card's on uh, Aiden Cushing. I'd gone down to stop the clock when they did it, so we're, we're stopped at 30, 21. Trying to get the curl in the head on it. And the pouncing save by Newton Delgado. He was busier early than he has been late, but he was busy there. So the Mustangs have turned the field a little bit here, see if they can keep the pressure on. Lynx had a good sustained pressure for about eight minutes. Bashford will bounce one in. Steven Newton Delgado, the keeper. Busy early, not so much late. 29-33, the official time, a little bit off. Here's Bembry. Bembry overruns it, plays it back. Ronnie there for the Lynx. Up the far side. Leary on the run. Leary in. Couldn't get there in time. Nagasaki made a really good aggressive play again. Aggressive keeper. Right here down the touch line right in front of us. Igor got it ahead. Bimvi. Tried to play it across, got deflected. Bimvi back on it. Bimvi gets knocked off the ball and foul called. Gonna stop clock, so let me do that. Didn't get through. Good slide and tackle by Isidoro Dominguez. Isidoro there. They tried to play it back to him, but that was intercepted by Cushing. Cushing. Bashford there now. And get a call. Samento getting set to Tony. Tony. set to launch. Good opportunity here for the Lynx. So it's not him. It's going to be Garcia. And now it's Samento in, curled inside. Oh, just went wide. Stays in play. Garcia had get some subs in the game. Just under the 27-minute mark here, left in the second half. The Ivan Dominguez goal has continued to hold up, 1-0. Six corner of the game. Here it comes in, into the area high. And ping-ponged around, and Bashford with a good, good pickup there of a ball about mid waist went up and got it, drilled it out. Hunter Glenn. Couldn't play it through, but Cushing got it. Salvador Barani in a battle. He'll foul and it'll be Mustang ball, Isidoro. 
Needs for everybody to get their placement. Wants to drill it down, he does, but on the line and out. Hunter Glenn in. Back to Bashford. Elfie. Gomez now. Played back. Played through. Good through ball here. Chase on. Mustangs. Trying to get it to Ivan Dominguez. He wasn't able to get it. Bashford again. Didn't find its way to a white shirt. Now skied by Labata, as he can do. Links. The boater again, as we said. Raimundo can really sky him. Newton Delgado. Plays it up to midfield. Knocked down there, Gomez, Jeremiah. Beats his defender, Gomez. Keeps his balance, Gomez. Got three defenders on him, but swooping in was Bemvy. Bemvy tries to turn the corner, gets tripped right there, and be Mustang ball. Into the area. Fought for. Now skied out. Links ball. Subs in. We're just a little bit behind on our game clock. The official game clock is 22.43 right now. But we're pretty close. Hit a space on the near side. Played back. Isidoro. Intercepted. Back to Bashford. Near side. Igor. Through. Bimby. Bimby. They tried to run him off, but he beat the corner. Bimby threw it in front. That was a nice sliding tackle play by Costa. Jaden Costa came over and knocked it away on the slide. Fourth corner coming up here. For the Mustangs. Getting a good shot down the sideline by Andrews. Camera work. Mark it up. Grab a number. Link's looking to match up. Here it comes into the area. In and out. On either side having a good deal of success with corners so far today as the defense has been solid both ways on those. That's going to be a grab from behind. I think they got Brian on the grab. Jeremiah Gomez. 
for the Mustangs getting it teed up as we hit the 20 50 mark let's see what they're going to do here they'll march the wall back it's an advantageous position right here as the Mustangs are talking it through you can see them gathering up apparently we're stopping the clock here Isidore Domingos, number eight on your screen right there. Nobody talk to you. Nobody talk to you. Got a yellow card here on the coaching staff. Is I think it's on the assistant coach. Assistant coaches are not to be heard <laughs> by the officials in almost all sports. They'll they'll let the head coach. Uh, you know, chirp and go a little bit, but uh, you know, the the assistant coaches often get called for, as I like to call it, the illegal use of linguistics. So we're stopped at 20 21. So we can count this down and we can sync up our clock here. So we're going to go to 2026, I think. I don't know why they're telling us. We don't, I don't even know who's doing them. I think Coach has got the clock behind us, so he's going to fix it. Yeah. So Coach, Coach Palmer's on the clock. He fixes it up. 2026. Let's see if I can fix it. So we've been waiting with great anticipation. Isadoro into it, deflected, and a nice save, and ball loose. Boy, that was the save of the game right there for Newton Delgado. That was a big save and a testing shot. Gomez, who's going to take it? Looks like Bembry's going to get the honors here. So, Ordi Bembry launches it. Comes in. Loose ball. Shot. Save. Beauty. Kicked out. Boy, a couple of series of great saves there. Newton Delgado. Fantastic job as we stay with a one goal lead for the Mustangs. They had two golden opportunities and the keeper, Stephen Newton Delgado, came up big. Make note of that if this game gets tied. So the Lynx get the saves and change the field. It's run to 19 minutes. Ayagasaga came up with his own big save there. Into it. Woody oh, Bimby came back. Run down the right side. The shot and the goal. Well, you saw it get set up beautifully.
David Zuzzi with the run down the far side. You saw, we, we talked earlier about David's speed and, and how he can really turn on the afterburners. That's a huge goal here for the Mustangs in this one here. And you saw David's speed right there as he just beat the defender down the far side, got the angle, and drilled it home. Nothing that Newton Delgado could do on that one. He's been immense, but a tough one right there. So 17.59. Left in this one. So the Mustangs forge ahead. Dominguez in the first. Zuzi in the second. Kalala, he gets tackled. Legal on Sundays, it's Monday. That's legal in the NFL. So 17.25 left. Jeremiah Gomez rests with his right foot on the ball. I'm going to get some subs in. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't hear you. <laughs> direct here. Jeremiah surveyed the scene. Chips it. Bashford was up there to try to get the head on it as he can normally do, but it went over him on a set play. That's over and into the first base area of the softball field. So links with some more work to do here to see if they can get back in this one. They've had their chances. They held the Mustangs, the powerful Mustangs, down to a single goal, but they've given up the second goal in this one. They'll have to start to press the offensive machine here if they can. Thread it up and through. Change of field over here. Ivan tries to keep it in. He does. Good ball. Bembry. Ordy. Tried to play it ahead to himself. Now he does. Controls it nicely. Bembry. Little give and go there. Dominguez. Bemby now. Left ball into the area. Skied up. Headed out by Stockman. Ball goes ahead to Phelps. He couldn't control it. Bashford's back to control it. He does. There's some nice teamwork there between Bashford and Isidore Dominguez. They teamed up well on the defense and communicated smartly. Mustangs looking to get into their control game, which they can do about as well as anybody. Now there's the throw. On the take. Gomez. Keeper came out, it's wide open, and, and we're going to get stoppage of time here. Mustang folks looking for a foul. Clock stopped at 15-14, we're synced. So we don't like to show injuries uh, of any of the kids. And one of the reasons that uh, we don't do that, it's hard to tell sometimes, and we know the parents are watching at home, and you know they see something that you know may look worse than it is, and um, they're able to communicate uh, 
to get the trainer out. So it's Jeremiah Gomez who is down after that slide tackle by the keeper. Stephen Newton Delgado came out. Got ball. Seen the official. I think we could we can show the scene, Andrew, there to the left, and we're just not going to um, fire in on it. Let you know we have the uh, the girls' game will be coming up. It's a 5:30 start. We're at about 4.45 with about 15 left. And that might work out well for a 5.30 start. So as we, uh, we wait for the work uh, being done on uh, Gomez. Uh, we'll step away for a little bit, take a quick break, and uh, when we come back... The USCAA provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to peak. It's leveling the playing field for everybody. Live action. Fifteen, uh, fourteen fifty four left here. Just a little bit off on the clock. So Gomez getting some attention in behind us. Looks like a leg injury. Abdullahi back in, number 16. Bashford, Alfie. Kalala. Dominguez here. Shoots it ahead. Kalala. Trying to beat the defender. Does. Forces it deep. and Dominguez with a nice settle there, but no control by anybody right here at midfield. There's a through ball. Nice play by Bashford. Alfie with a play. Stepped up. Stripped the ball. Made a nice pass. Kalala is called off sides. Emmanuel! 
Weenman. Tried to connect with Phelps, and Phelps drove it through, and Bashford has had a strong game defensively for the Mustangs back there as a solid defender. Went out early with a little bit of injury, came back in. Been a few bumps and bruises in this physical contest today. Bashford again. Violet tried to get it for the Mustangs, couldn't do it. Got a muscle tussle at midfield. Feed in. Headed out. Knocked down. Foul called and Bashford started up and trying to settle things down, and they do connect on the clear out across the way, dispossessed links. Opportunity. That's Phelps. Phelps loses it out of bounds. 10.55. Mustangs content to take some ticks off of Father Time. Bashford. Tried to connect with Bembry, couldn't. His Dominguez got it through, but dispossessed there. Brawny on the go. Violet came back nicely, made a play. There's a flag. Aiden Phelps says, yeah, I got the whole ball. Well. Official doesn't agree. Clark was stopped at 10:13. Uh, Not sure if there's a card involved in there. I can't see. Gabby's trying to look across to see what they're doing. Gabby's doing a great job on the stats here. So we'll get the start of play with 10-13 left. Up, there's a clear push, and they'll let it go. Mustang content to let the Lynx control the ball on their defensive end. Lynx will try to counter here. Hunter Glenn to Bashford. Bashford. Lumo with a nice step through defensive play and then turns it into offense. Igor Dominguez, fancy footwork there. 
Kalala. Kalala comes in and <laughs> wraps him up. Links want to move quickly and won't work. Bashford at midfield. Now they'll hustle back. Zadoro, Dominguez. Long ball. Which the Mustangs will take with 8.36. Mustangs making sure they're back in, in matchups. Oh, Alfie. Bashford, good play there. Control the ball. Maneuver through traffic. Woody Bimby, content to play it back. Isidoro almost headed it right the camera. <laughs> that one came flying through. Susie and Ivan Dominguez waiting to come in. Jeremiah Gomez still getting some attention behind us at the training table. Anton Leary. Towards the area. Goes home, let's see out. 6.58. Susie back in. Ivan Dominguez back in. Ivan had the first goal of the game. Susie had the second. They just both checked back in. Hoping that one would float over and land for Ivan, but it didn't. Played back. So women's game, maybe a little bit after 5.30, but it'll be pretty close. Throw, Bimvi, Ordi, in alone, shoots, he scores! Ordi Bimvi! Found himself in alone and Delgado, not much he could do there as he was left dead to rights. And that will make it 3 0 with 6.14 left. So that's going to that's gonna seal it right there, barring a strange turn of events. And it's getting chilly on the shores of Lake Auburn. This is the time of year in Maine, those of you folks who are away, that, you know, midday you're doing Dunkin' Donuts. You know, Dunkin' Donuts. You do Dunkin' Ice Coffee. And then later on in the day here in Central Maine, you got to get to Dunkin'. Get yourself a hot coffee. You folks that visit from away when your kids are here and all that, they get Dunkin's everywhere. State of Maine, New England. It's a New England thing, Dunkin' Donuts. Violet across the way. Good balance in the goal scoring. Mustangs are threatened again. Ivan, who got the first goal, lays it back out, and we got people tumbling and knocking down Justin Byler with it. He's going to throw it in front, settle there. Susie knocked it wide. Uh, about 520 coach, I think. That's what I would have. Look it, look it. 
Mingus, nice move there. Through ball to Bimby. Woody, left footed. Right on, Newton Delgado. Oh, nice heel kick there. Susie played it through, but good defense. That was Jaden Costa. Mustangs content to play keep away. Up 3 0. We're a little ahead on the clock as clock got reset a few minutes, but that's okay. They call that extra time, I think. Comes through. Mustangs in no hurry. A leisurely walk in the park here. We'll resync the clock up at four minutes. Comes ahead. Mingus got room and Mustang bench arms up. Lights are on at the complex. We need the lights for the whole second game. Ethan Piccolo to check in here for the Lynx, number three, when he gets a second. And when they get possession, through, headed back. Moses Lumu let one rip, but went wide. Going. Violet across the way, launches one. Lynch just not enough to overcome the three goals here. They had opportunities offensively and just not able to break through. Mustangs put it away in the end of the second half. Susie with the second goal of the game and Woody Bembry with a beauty went in all alone. On Newton Delgado beat him clean. That's where we stand, 3 0. So we will come up with a new uh, complete game with the uh, women's game. So this one will shut down and we're set for like a 520 on air for game two, that might be a little generous. So we might have some adjusting to do on that. We'll see once they decide how much time they're gonna give the kids uh, to warm up for the women's game. So we'll be able to adjust our times as well. So we wind down under two minutes. Links would like to get one if they can here and take a little bit of solace out of this. One fourteen remaining. Bashford and cleared out. 
we don't have uh, our graphic like we have on our other system, our computer system for the Edge Nutrition Play of the Games, sponsored by Coach Palmer's Nutrition Bar. But we'll tell you, make that award right now, Alfie Bashford will be our Edge Nutrition Play of the Game. Alfie, what an outstanding defensive game. We called his name a lot, had his a lot of time in the defensive end, particularly when the Lynx were pressing some and played an outstanding defensive game. And he continues to right there. That's Bashford got a piece of that one and tip it away as the clock will run out and your Mustangs will win this YSCC contest by a score of 3-0. Goals by Ivan Dominguez, David Zuzzi, and Audie Bemvi. The three goals for the Mustangs as they come out victorious here from the Turf Athletic Complex on the campus of Central Maine Community College. Well, I'm Rob Munson. Hope you enjoyed this game here. We'll have the women's game coming up shortly. Uh, we'll take a little break and uh, have a little warm-up, and uh, we'll go to school on that and uh, let you know uh, when that game will come on. So that's going to do it. For all of us here at Munsing Media, which are only two of us today, Andrew Sevenson and I, we'll see you soon.